As you heard me say, we are blessed this morning to have so many new members joining us. Some are joining us here in person, and some are joining us virtually. Some are in town, and some are in Canada, and New Jersey, and around the country, but who are committed, just like everyone else, to be a part of this congregation, to live out the mission and vision. And so, for those here, as I call your name forward, I invite you to come forward and find a place here at the front of the chancel. And for those who are at home, who are joining but who are watching, I invite you to join us in spirit, and we trust that the spirit will tether us in this moment. And so, I invite Catherine Crumley, Heather Furlan, Tammy Heinzelman, Julia Kiefer, Peter Kiefer, Tai Kong, Grace Lynch, Cindy Martin, Marie McEnany, John Messenger, Judy Messenger, Jenny Sanchez, Robert Sanchez, Corinne Sandholzer, Charles Smith, Robin Smith, Scott Vallett, Sharon Vallett, Betty Willer, Sandy Wynn, Lucas Grosodonia Maiola, Michelle Grosodonia Maiola, Avis Hooper, Jennifer Odorisi, Sarah Pugachev, and Lynn Saki. I will note that Catherine Crumley may be our oldest member ever to join at 102. Ready? Beloved, the church is of God and will be preserved until the end of time for the conduct of worship and the due administration of God's word and sacraments, meant, the maintenance of Christian fellowship and discipline, the edification of the believers, and the conversion of the worlds. Do you know that God loves you, that God's gift of Christ gives you salvation? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? As members of Christ's universal church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church, participating in its mission by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? As new members of this congregation, will you do all in your power to strengthen this community of faith? And now I invite you to turn and face the congregation, and I invite the congregation to stand. And if you're watching from home, I invite you to participate in this moment that just like in baptism, which we did at the beginning of the service, we are committing to walk alongside one another through that roller coaster of life. Members of the family of God, I commend to you these persons. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. We give, we give thanks, thanks for the faith God has worked within you. We, we pledge to you our Christian love and hospitality as those who also live by hope. Together with you and all Christians this day, we seek the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Amen.